Yo what is up you guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I will be doing another Minecraft Blender Rig tutorial which is an update to my last one that was a while back ago, I'll show you how to install it, and some other basics to creating your render and stuff like that. Now I'm fairly new to Blender 2.8 but I still know most things so I promise we'll get the job done anyways. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have Blender installed. Whether that's on Steam or on Google or your browser of choice, just go through all the steps. It's pretty obvious to download. Now the next thing you will need, if you want to render your actual Minecraft character is name MC, which is a place where you just search up your Minecraft username and you can pull up current skins and even past skins, from your account and even other people's accounts. All you have to do is search your Minecraft username and then press on your current skin and then press on the download button and of course save it to your desktop. Now the final thing you need to do is download the actual rig file. Basically this file is a Blender project file meaning it's set up to rig and animate as soon as you open it in render. This rig is a lot more advanced than the i1a did a while back and this one has a mouth and fingers and things like that. And overall it is just way better looking. Now once we have all that saved on our desktop, we can jump over to Blender guys see you there. So now guys we are in Blender, and all you wanna do is head over to the open button, go to desktop, and then look for that rig file. It should look like this. Now once my homie Steve loads in we can actually start working on this bad boy. Okay so to move around in Blender, you gotta hold down your metal mouse button and then just move your mouse the direction you wanna turn. Now guys I know you don't want to be Steve. So I will show you how to import your Minecraft skin onto the rig, so you don't look like a bum. Hit that X and then press on that paper icon or whatever and then if your skin is saved on your desktop like mine, just select it and then boom. Now guys we have our skin on the rig, so we can actually start posing our character. The way I do it is simple. I press shift and select the controller, and I use these things right here to move it where I want. It may not be the best way, but it's what was easy and convenient for me and this is my tutorial man. I'll fast forward and do a very basic little thingy. Y'all do yours however you want be creative. when you finish posing, we need to add in a camera to be able to render the character as an image. Once you get that in we need to move it so our character is in frame. You can get into the camera by press the num0 key and you can just use the controls on the right to move it around and get your guy into frame like I do. Once that's all set up, we need a light source to brighten up the character and also a light will make the render look so much better. The point source is the best one in my opinion, it just looks much smoother. Just make it to move it to point it towards your character, and man will it look a lot brighter and better. Now raise up the power, so it is brighter. I like this but choose whatever fits your need or you like better. Oh yeah, and before you do your final render make sure to raise the resolution to 4K which is this one. Just trust me it make things so much easier and it's so much bigger may and you can size it down, or have it big with no loss of quality. And boom here is the final product, now just make sure to save it to your desktop as an image like so. If you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you out make sure to leave a supportive comment below and subscribe for more awesome videos like these. I make funny Minecraft and Roblox videos as well as tutorials like this one and I think you'll really enjoy my channel. Thanks so much for watching and peace out guys.